In this video, we'll draw the atomic orbital diagram for sulfur here. And to do that, the first thing we have to do is write an electron configuration for sulfur. Sulfur has an atomic number of 16. That means it has 16 protons. And since sulfur, like all of the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral, protons will equal electrons. So we have 16 electrons for sulfur. So sulfur is right here on the periodic table. Again, we have 16 electrons, so we're going to follow the pattern here on the periodic table until we get to sulfur. So we start out with the first energy level, 1. We have 1s1, 1s2. We then go to the second energy level, 2s1, 2. Then we go over to p. We have 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. p orbitals, they hold up to 6. We're back to 3s, 3s1, 3s2, and then 3p, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 3p, 4, and then we're at sulfur, so we're done. This is the electron configuration for sulfur. We'll use this to write the orbital diagram. So this atomic orbital diagram here, all we're trying to do with this, or the electron configuration, is figure out where the electrons are around the nucleus of the sulfur atom here. So you can think of the nucleus being here, and these are just energy levels surrounding it. Maybe think of it as shells. So we'll start out, we have 1s2. We put our electrons there, opposite directions, 2s2, and we got 2p6. We spread them out first, and then we pair them up like this, 3s2, and then we end up with 3p4. So 1, 2, 3, and then we pair them up 4. And this is the orbital diagram for sulfur. Sometimes you'll see it written like this, kind of in a more horizontal manner, but it's the same thing. So again, all of these are just representations of where the electrons are around the nucleus of the sulfur atom. This is Dr. B with the Atomic Orbital Diagram for Sulfur. Thanks for watching.